Hey guys, welcome to another video. If my voice is gross, it's because I'm getting over a cold. But uh, no time for that because we just got a call from the post office that our new baby turkeys are here. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. This video should be fun because this is our first time ordering from Porter's Heritage Turkeys. And also this is kind of going to be a mystery unboxing um, just because the way that their ordering is set up. I ordered from them specifically because I wanted some sweet grass turkeys, uh, but their order maximum was six and then their total order minimum was 15. So I ended up getting six of the sweet grass that we wanted and then we had to fill the rest of the order with nine breeders choice turkeys, uh, which means they're going to be purebred, but it's going to be a mix of different varieties, just depending on what they hatch out. So you have no idea what you're going to get. So let's go to the post office and get our babies. So one of the reasons why I chose Porter's was because they have, I believe it's two farms, one's in Indiana and one's in Michigan. Um, and I'm based in Indiana, so it's always good to choose a hatchery that is closest to you. Peace. And the reason why is you want them to be in the mail as short of a length of time as possible. And that is what happened. Um, they were shipped yesterday afternoon and it's now about 10 a.m. the next day. So they have been in the mail less than 24 hours, which is great. And whenever the PO called me, um, I could hear them chirping very loudly in the background. So it sounds like they're in great condition, uh, but let's go see. Quick disclaimer, uh, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Um, I paid for all these with my own money. Porter's has no idea I'm making this video. So all these opinions are unbiased and my own. Um, I wish it was sponsored, <laughs> but it, it was not. Alrighty guys, we just picked up our babies and I hear lots of chirping. I see lots of movement in there. So um, everything seems like it went just fine. So let's uh, run home and get these guys in the brooder. And yes, I have a chicken wallet. <laughs> Amazon special. Okay, so we just got home. This is the brooder that these guys are going to go into. As you can see, we've got some Ermine Americanas here. Um, we hatched these ourselves um, and everything's all set up. They've already got warm water out. They've got a nice warm heat lamp going. I'm going to remove their food. This is chick food and these turkeys need higher protein. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. We'll replace it with their turkey feed um, once they get sent here. So let's go ahead and get these guys open. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm seeing um, a lot of them have markings on their head. Um, so that should tell us what breeds they are. Hope you guys can see. Oh, they're so pretty. I love their colors. We got quite the mix here. So um, I'm going to open up this packing list. This should tell us who everything is. And there are zero losses, guys. Let me count them real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think there's 16. So we actually got a bonus. Um, so that's really nice. Um, okay, so it comes with tips on starting your poults, um, a loss claim form, and then my packing list, and then we got, here's our packing list, which shows everything we got. Alright, so it says, sorry guys, the lighting in here is terrible. So we ordered 15, they gave us 16, which is great. We got four black winged bronze, three painted, triple red. Six sweet grass, which are the green, um, and those are the specific ones that I ordered. And then three tiger bronze, uh, which are brown and red. That's awesome. Um, I'm actually really excited about the tiger bronze. I'm gonna have to look at what painted looks like. All right, let's go ahead. Let's pull out the sweet grass. So the sweet grass are marked green. So this one here is a sweet grass baby. Really cute. Oh, you guys are adorable. And I am going to dip their little beaks in water so they know where that is and they're actually perfectly sized they they match um our americana chicks perfectly so that worked out really really well all right let's pull out all the greens so there's one two
four. Here's number five. Oh yeah, they're taking right to that water. And six. So there's our six sweet grass. They're so cute. Ah. I'm betting these are painted because we got, there's three of them that are this color and it says triple red. I'm betting these are painted. Okay, so here's one, two, and three. They're really cute. I like their colors. There you go. Okay, and then these guys, um, let's see. There's three of these that have a red spot, and then there's four that don't, but these all have like these little spots. So, let's see. I'm betting these are black winged bronze, and then that would make these tiger bronze. That would make sense, because um, there's three yeah, so I'm betting this is a black wing bronze because we got four of those. And then the other three that have the red spots are going to be tiger bronze. Okay, cool. You're so precious. I love that, uh, the stripediness of it. That's really cool. Thank you, drink, baby. So this one's going to be a tiger bronze. And this water, we put it in here uh, a couple hours ago and it's been underneath the heat lamp. So it is nice and warm. It's really important with pulps. You don't chill them with cold water fresh from the tap. Um, and yeah, as you can see, zero losses, um, which I did not anticipate having any losses. These guys were in the mail less than 24 hours. Let's zoom in and see how they're doing. All right, it's been uh, probably 10 minutes and these guys are still drinking. So I'm gonna give them a little bit more time before I put their food in. But let's talk about a couple misconceptions I see online a lot when it comes to raising turkey poults. So the first one is that, uh, <laughs> you guys are doing some hardcore parkour in here. These are so cute. Um, the first common misconception I see is uh, people saying you cannot raise poults and chicks together. And I believe that stems from the fear of the chickens giving the turkeys uh, blackhead disease. So we actually uh, recommend the opposite. We recommend if you're gonna have turkey poults that you do raise them with uh, chicken chicks. And the reason why is turkey poults rely really heavily on their mama hens to show them how to eat and drink. So if you just have a bunch of turkeys in a brooder without any chicks scratching and pecking around, the turkey poults are not gonna do very well. They're gonna have failure to thrive. They're not gonna eat or drink enough and you'll end up losing some. Um, we see that a lot. Hi, baby. <laughs> you are so cute. Um, I see that a lot on turkey groups on Facebook. They'll start losing turkeys, uh, turkey poults, and they won't understand why. And um, that is the reason. They, they just, they don't know to peck at food or to, to peck at water um, without some help from someone else showing them. So that's why these chicks are in here. Um, we are not concerned about these guys giving them blackhead. These babies were hatched from our own stock, which I know is extremely healthy. And we hatched them in an incubator and they went straight into this brooder. They were never exposed to any other birds. So we are confident these babies, um, the chicks are disease free. So we don't have any concerns about them transmitting blackhead or any other disease to these uh, turkey poults. So um, definitely recommend if you have a good, <laughs> a reliable source of chicks that you know are going to be healthy put those in with those turkey poults and they'll do a lot better another common misconception that i hear online a lot is that turkey poults can't have a medicated feed and i'm not really certain um why people say that where that came from because turkey poults are susceptible to coccidiosis which is what your typical medicated feed um, protects against. If it's an emprolium medicated feed, that's that's what it's for, is for coccidiosis. Um, 
So we do feed medicated feed to our poults and we feed specifically Kumbach 28% uh, start right turkey medicated feed. So this stuff, it's formulated by um, Kumbach. Uh, it's formulated by Kalmbach Feeds, which is one of the best feeds you can buy, literally. Um, and the price reflects that, honestly, but um, it's it's well worth it. It's, it I'm, I've always had good results with Kalmbach Feeds, been very happy with their um, the quality of their feed. Um, but they that feed is formulated specifically for turkeys and it is medicated with Emperolium. And a company like Kalmbach would not have that product if it's gonna kill every single turkey it's fed to. You know what I mean? So um, that just that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not sure why people say that, but um, I, I imagine it comes from people feeding turkeys uh, medicated chick feed, which that would kill the turkeys because the protein isn't high enough. Um, your average chick feed, it's going to have about 18% protein and turkeys have to have in the upper 20s. So uh, the Kalmbach, it's 28%. There's other brands that sell 30%. Um, that's the, the area that you want to be as far as protein goes, uh, 28 to 30%, guys. The turkey poults, they just, they require that higher protein. And without it, what they end up doing is they they lose the ability to walk and then they die. Um, they, they just, they have to have that high protein, guys. Um, that's not something you need to go, can negotiate on and have chicks that, that thrive. All right, they are starting to slow down uh, drinking the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them some food. Here's what that feed looks like, and nice and powdery for them. There you go. So there's a lot of babies in here. I'll put two. And, um, it's fine that the chicks are eating the higher protein too, guys. It doesn't cause any issues. Um, if you're raising waterfowl, I would recommend that you put them in a separate brooder um, because the higher protein will cause angel wing with them, but uh, chicks are, are totally fine eating the, the higher protein. And some people, depending on the breed, if it's like a heritage, really heavy heritage breed, some people actually recommend you give those breeds um, higher protein anyways. So it's uh, we've never had any issues with it. Hey babies, come here. Hi, you guys are so friendly. Hi. You guys are adorable. Hi. You just hopped right into my hand. Oh, I may have to keep all you guys. Oh, don't fall. Hi. You're so sweet. So yeah, guys, that is our video on our turkeys that we got. Um, I am very impressed. I will definitely be ordering from Porter's again in the future. Um, I will link their website down below, guys, um, if you want to check them out yourself. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do some update videos to see how they grow and how they do. Um, I've been watching them for about 20 minutes now, and none of them seem weak or... Um, like they're struggling in any way, shape or form. So I don't anticipate losing any, but, but we'll create a update video and let you know how they're doing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.